Gucci laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye, and I need a helping hand. It's the name of the game, but also I need a helping hand because I just got back from doing the show. I did the Just for Laughs show last night. It was fucking awesome. It was one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to do, and it was the best live show that I've ever done. Everything went flawlessly. Show was fantastic. The jokes all landed. The audience had so much energy and got everything that was going on. And it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever gotten to have. So now I'm officially a stand-up comedian. Because I went and did a show at the Just For Last Festival and did a whole comedy set and everybody laughed at it. That's insane! <laughs> also, I shook Dave Chappelle's hand. And that was awesome. And then I saw John Mayer. <laughs> but that's not why we're here. We're here to play Helping Hand, which is a game, if you remember before I played, where you're a dude in the hospital and people come in and talk to you, and you have one hand, and you get to do all this sh shit. You know, you, you just react to people and see what- That was weird. He's awake! I sure am! Prep the syringes for his spinal fluids! <laughs> I didn't know Sly Stallone was my doctor! <laughs> Doc, I am hokey dokey! <laughs> oh, I was hitting the wrong button, that's why that- oh, okay. Oh, you want me to do a, a thumbs down? Bad news, Doc! I'm all fucked up on the drugs! Hello! <laughs> okay, now will you please lower your ring? Basically, you want me to hail Satan for heavy metal. And I can definitely do that, Doc. Hell yeah! Test one more gesture. Oh, can I please do that? No. I want to do that one. I'm just going to ignore that response. <laughs> Please lower all fingers beside- <laughs> Okay. So I'm not allowed to stick up my finger at you. Fine. Whatever. Okay. There wasn't a whole lot of time to prep for this. Everything just sort of started happening. You should consider yourself lucky. Nobody knows how you made it out of that accident. Right. Nurse Barbara! Hey, Doc, have you made him pull one of these yet? Nurse Barbara! That is extremely unprofessional of you! Fuck you, Babs! Hey, Babs! Yes, yeah, sit and swivel, bitch! Okay, she's just gonna keep talking. Am I not allowed to react to you guys? Hello? I can still hear. Why is it getting darker? Hello? Excuse me! Stop! Oh god, um... Oh god, I'm dying. Oh, Jesus, mother god. Am I okay? Am I dead? Yep, yeah, I'm dead, alright. Okay, hey, I'm in my car! This is not good. Point at a station. Oh... What? Ah! Oh, yeah! Oh, if people hear this, you know what they say? This guy fucks. What else have we got? Okay, no, no, I don't like that. That's not my jam. That's not my style. I don't like that one. I don't care if you like it, Sandra, okay? This one's not bad. I like number two the best. Never my fucking Christ! I was just enjoying that music, that was amazing! Oh, God! Oh, that's bits of me that's outside of me that should be inside of me! I don't like it, Doc! Was somebody trying to cheese grate my leg? They never thought us how to stop guts from spilling out. I feel like that that's one thing that you should definitely know how to do as a paramedic. Who gave him this kid's license? Are you a cereal box EMT? Are you feeling okay? Da Doc? No, no, wait, how do I, uh, how do I do that one again? Oh wait, it's just this. Doc, ah, no, okie dokie! You're feeling okay? Yeah, you know, can you tell me what I had for dinner? <laughs> you know, cause you, never mind. This guy has no sense of humor putting me back together. Like a human jigsaw puzzle. You have to help me, what do I do? How am I supposed to help you? 
I'm good at keeping that stuff in me. I don't need it out of me. You're the one who's supposed to be good at putting it back into me. It's not like I knocked over a box of Cheerios on the fucking table and motherfuckers went everywhere. Then I have to put them all back in. What do I do? Fuck you. Oh my god, where did that come from? My hand and my brain. You're bleeding so much, man. I, I can't do this all by myself. Are you saying that you're no Superman? Get your shit together, James. You've got this. <laughs> Look at his dumb little face. I need you to hold on to my phone, okay? I can't believe they actually made... Do you see any room in this ambulance? There's a whole table over there. Man, come on. Just hold on to it, okay? Don't let go. Okay, I'm not gonna be like Elsa. She was letting everything go. Um, I'm surprised that they were able to turn this into a full game. Like, there's full gameplay to it. It's not just sitting in the hospital going... This is, this is what it is. This is what the game is. Messing with your hand. Can you please hold this? <laughs> Put it in my grabber. Put it in grabby. Are you too weak or something? Oh! I'm sorry. Am I too eviscerated for you to be able for me to be able to help you? Give me your phone! I don't know how I I'll just I don't know. Put it on the floor, okay? I'm sorry, dude, okay? I was too busy dying! I just need to stick this here and make sure your the blood vest the blood is inclined. I can't read, I'm dying! Nurse! Doctor! I am all over the place. This is what it would be like if humans were able to be scrambled eggs. <laughs> Dude, I have one question. What is this and why is it on the outside of where it shouldn't be? Don't vomit inside the patient. Please don't vomit in me. I'm not a human toilet, okay? I know I give off the appearance of giant piece of garbage. And we're done. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think there's still a bit of a problem, dude. Um, yeah, you see those intestines? Yeah, the fact that I'm actually saying this sentence and you said yes proves that we're not done. Your vitals are dropping. <laughs> yeah, my vitals are dropping like my guts all over the floor. <laughs> Stay with me. Can't say I have a choice, buddy. But yes. Sure thing. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm passing out into the... Into the... Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm back, baby! Can't keep me down! <laughs> Nothing's gonna kill me! I'm not even reading what you guys are saying. Don't panic, you've been in an accident, but you're okay now. Dope. Well, I mean, you're alive. This may be hard for you to hear, but almost every part of your body is broken. Your toes? Broken. Your fingernails? They're fine, I can see them. The muscles in your mouth? Broken. Yeah, it sounds like the muscles in your mouth are broken by the way you sound. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling a little down. No, I'm feeling a little uh, uh, down, Doc. Oh my god, you sound like a sim. So you've had a while. So, are you a bit? I don't know. That should help with the pain. Anyway, if you ever need to communicate to us, use your hand, got it? F yeah, fuck you! Okay, he didn't say anything to that. It's time to introduce you to the nurse. Barbara, he's ready for you! Oh god. What? Bob's fucking sucks! She drinks too much and her husband left her! I don't like Babs! We don't like Babs! This is a no Babs household! No! Boo! Boo! I mean, the Babs is saying that I'm disgusting. But has she looked in the mirror lately? But, but yeah. Rock on, Babs! That's- that's a pretty dope. You little reckless cripple. Whoa! Babs! Calm down, alright? I know you've had a hard life. At least we know your bones aren't made of rock and roll. Ha <laughs> ha! That's where you're wrong. These guns? Pure metal, baby! Sympathetic. Shim- What? You better still have control of your bladder. I'm going for a smoke. Oh, I'll show you that I've controlled my bladder by pissing all over this building! She can be a little cranky, but please be patient with her. Oh, Doc. 
All I can be is patient right now. <laughs> Try to be as nice as you can. Doc, I'm lovely. See? Peace. Oh, Peace on Earth. Oh, wow, wow, those drugs are really getting you, aren't yeah. they? Do I? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I feel fine. I feel, I feel, I feel fine. I feel. What drugs, Doc? No, Bob. Careful though. Try not to bother her too much. I'll try my best. She might not come back if you call her too often. I mean, what's going to happen to me? I just sit here. I be patient and I wait. I look at this beautiful Bob Ross painting in the background. Okay, bye. You guys don't even open the door. You just 2D phase your way through the gap. Oh, hey. This is it, I think. Oh, shit, dude. Is that my bro, Tyler? What the fuck? Oh, I thought that was his hair for some reason. <laughs> oh, good. We've been looking all over for you. My name is Zoe. This is Tyler. We are from the Dying for a Dream Foundation. We've come here today because we heard that there's someone here who could use some cheering up. Listen, there's no nice way to approach this subject. But since you are a terminal. Hey, wait, what? Um, Doc? You never told me I was terminal. I mean, you did say that all my bones were broken and nothing works anymore, except the one thing that counts. Haha, <laughs> am I right? Up top. It's all I can do. I'm high five. I'm waiting to high five everybody. That's what this game is. I'm just sitting here being like. Everyone leaves me hanging in my life. I can draw attention to this m monstrous hand all I want, but nobody wants to high five me. Hey, hey, Tyler. Yeah, up top, bro. Yo, what's up? I'm Tyler. I come into hospitals with get well soon balloons, and I love to sell ecstasy to kids at raves. Hit me up. What did you say your name was again? Uh, my name is Pointy. I, no. My name is Foudhub. Can I? My name is Claw! You know what, Tyler? My name is FUCK YOU! <laughs> wow, dude, really? Yeah, cuz I'm not dying. I'm uh, fine. Look! <laughs> this is all I can do. Uh, uh Tyler? Huh? They never mentioned that this patient was mentally challenged. HEY! Huh. COME ON! Uh. I'm fine! Is my bag filling up over here? Uh, is that my pee bag? I have a lot of piss in me! Uh, how are you? Zoe, is this the right? How did you do that? She's magic! For me? Thank you. Just throw it at my face because I can't fucking eat it! Please accept this gift from us. Wait, wait. There we go. Tyler, do you think he can understand us? Do you guys, are you guys even good at your job? Okay, I'll ask him again. <laughs> Do huh. you huh. want huh. this <laughs> fruit <laughs> basket? No, 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 no. How do I, how do I thumbs up? Hell uh, yeah. Uh, so we, I think this patient is mentally retarded. Dude! <laughs> You can't say that about me! I'm not allowed to talk! The doctor said if I talk again, my jaw will fall off! You can't just go into a hospital and every person that doesn't talk to you, you can't just go around saying they're mentally retarded. That's not cool, Tyler, you big piece of shit! Get well soon. Get out of here, more like it. Guys? Guys, don't go! Guys! This is a cry for help! I have no friends! No one here likes me! Damn it. Well, at least they left a gift basket. Uh, nurse, I gotta go duty. Babs! Babs! Oh, there you are. What is it, you little pest? Babs, I gotta go shit my ass. Babs, my bag is full. Oh, God. Oh, uh. <laughs> is it really playing this song? Wait, what? Why, I'm going to miss him, really? You didn't even know him. Yeah, well, he just seemed really nice, you know, so full of life. Am I dead? Did I? <laughs> I 
he died? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm dying in real life. I mean, how was I supposed to know that if I sit around sticking up my finger at people after I've been crushed in a hydraulic press, how am I supposed to know that I'm just going to end up dying? But Tyler came back and stabbed me. Oh, so there is an ending. I got as far as the ICU. I mangled myself in a car, became a human pinata, and then just went to the ICU and died. Even though the doctor said I was fine, and then Zoe comes in with her fruit basket knowledge and was like, yeah, he looks terminal. And Tyler was like, yeah, he looks mentally retarded. And then everyone hated him. Tyler had never actually left the hospital. He got arrested as soon as he left the room. Um, okay, let's go back to the ICU again. <laughs> ICU! Ha! All right. Nurse! Babs! Oh, God, I have to go through all this again? Okay, let's increase the tech speed. Don't panic, you've been in an accident. Well, I mean, you're alive. This might be hard for you to hear, but almost every part of your body is broken. Your tails, your, your, your nose, your face. Unfortunately, so how are you feeling? Doc? I feel great. Yeah. Great, that's good to hear. From now on, if you ever need to communicate, just use your hand. That's perfect. Oh. Hi, Deacon Simon, and just shoot your nurse. Barry, get in here. What? It said he's ready for you. Oh, the bill. <laughs> hey, Babs. You're disgusting. This is my answer to everything. Thanks, Babs. St she just called me a stinky cripple. <laughs> hey, what's going on in here? Oh, this ugly fucking stinky cripple. Okay, bye. I don't like Babs. Okay, are, are Zozo and Tai Tai gonna come back? Uh -huh. Yeah, buddy. Hey, this is a favorite patient. Oh, good. We're looking all over for you. My name is Owen. This is Tyler from Dying for a Dream Foundation. We come here because we're cheering up. Yes, nice balloon. Now, Tyler, you better watch your language again, okay? What did you say your name was again? My name is Pretty Dub. I can't tell you what my name is. Am I supposed to spell it out in my five fucking fingers? Thank you for the fruit basket, though. I really like it. It's very nice. I like apples. I'm just gonna respond to everything like this. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. See, I told you the patients eat this shit up. There's not, there's not need to go out of budget unnecessarily. Great, we just place this over here for you. Thanks, guys. Guys, that's a pretty tip. Thank you. Great, I'm sure this will come in handy for you. Oh, I get it. Will come in handy. Just because my hand is the is in the air, I'm not waving it like I just don't care. Okay, it's still up there. No one has high fived it yet. Thanks, me. Whenever you feel like eating again, this this is an okay gift, right? I mean, what else could a dying patient want? Oh, I don't know. Life, the cure, the secret serum. I know Colonel Sanders has it somewhere. He's been hoarding that shit forever. Did you ever notice how Colonel Sanders never dies? He just morphs into a different human, but he still survives. That's because his secret sauce is keeping him alive. I've heard it has a lot of bull semen in it though, so I don't know if I want it. Um, I'm just gonna answer everything like this and get to the end. Tyler, when I leave hospital, these little piggies are gonna go right into your fucking face, buddy. We love. We'll be going now, uh, then. Okay, fine. I wasn't actually paying attention anyway. Well, uh, bye now. You... You take care of yourself. Was that the sound of a high five? The Tai Tai just give me the high five? Yeah, buddy! Give me my balloon. Where... Tyler? That's... That's my balloon. Um, uh, Babs! Babs, I gotta go duty! <laughs> but, oh, there she is. What is it, you little pest? I don't want to have to look after you the whole day. It's your job. I have better things to do. Babs, I gotta go piss. Actually, I did already. Can you empty it? Just send it to Bear Grylls' house. He'll drink it. Did you just call me in here, to stupid puny worm? Aw. Guys. I'm in hospital, and now I feel bad about my stupid puny body. You know, the one that got crushed and mangled in the car crash? Yeah, keep walking, Babs. Bitch. So 
So that's ooh. Bombs! Bombs! I'm bored. But um, Bob, do you like heavy metal? There's nothing wrong with you, you little degenerate. I've just checked on you. Now leave me alone. Aren't you impressed that I'm still feeling the filling the bag up with pee pee? Ba Babs. Hello. Ba <coughs> really wish you could eat some of this fruit. Fruit, 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 banana. Banana. That's a weird word. Banana. They couldn't just call it banana. But oh god, the priest is in to give an exorcism. Okay, I know that I've been using like occult symbols with my hand, but that's just because I messed up, Father. For there is nothing that our Lord and Savior, Chew Boy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait! Can we just- Can we just back it up a second? Okay, shut up! Shut up! Okay, thank- Fuck her! Who or what is Chuboy? Is that like the creator of the game or something? He has CB on his neck. I like that a whole lot more. You know how much more times I'd go to church if I knew I was believing in someone called Chew Boy? That'd be awesome! No, instead we went and honored someone called Jesus. That's a made up name. Well, some of us did, not everybody did. That's so, oh, that's slippery slope. Yes, Sean, bring more politics and religion into your channel. That's what the comments need. Be nice. Would you like to join me as we pray to the Holy Father? I'd rather hail Satan. <gasps> if you just threw holy water at me. The sign of the devil? How dare you meet our Lord's presence in this room? Please, I must implore you, ask for forgiveness right now. Oh, please, Lord. As I sit here, and you deemed it necessary for me to be mangled and crippled in this hospital bed, and then sending somebody in who praises Chewboy. Pretty sure he's on drugs, too much sacramental wine if you know what I'm talking about. Even though he's basically drinking your blood, so aren't priests vampires? I don't know. I don't know what you're up to. Okay, but if you could please rain the blessings of Okie Dokie down on top of me, that'd be Gucci. Good. I'm glad that you have chosen the right, the the path to righteousness. We all make mistakes sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, I made the mistake of trying to find music channels on the radio, and now I'm here, a human kebab. We are just lucky enough to have a holy, merciful Lord. Oh, he's merciful, all right. There's one thing I know about our Lord and Savior, Chew Boy, it's that he's merciful. Oh, blessed Chew Boy, I loved you in Solo, a Star Wars story. I need to leave now, but you are in my prayers. Could I not? Can I un- can I unsubscribe from that mailing list? See, Father? I have some sins to confess. Pinky swear. No one stays in my life very long in this game. But hey! I'm still alive! I was dead this time last time. Where was your chew boy then? Father! He left just like my real dad. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, speaking of which... That's my dad! That's my dad! You are my dad. Oh, and his name is Jeff. Oh my god, 17 memes have just collided. You're the truck driver?! Oh, you son of a bitch. Yo, dude! You- you Sugandese? I don't know what nationality you are, but I've, I've heard that you're Sugandese. <laughs> Sugandese nuts, boy! Alright, yeah, that's- that's fine, that's cool. Yeah. I wasn't actually okay with this. I just have a, a, a spasm, spastic reflex in my hand, you know, after you crashed into me and put me here. I need an apology from you, son. You see, I believe in a thing called love. 
that you were the one who caused this accident. From my viewpoint, it seemed. Yeah, well, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. I mean, okay, I. Okay, can you stay down? So, can you? Mr. Mike, okay, sir, I'll be with you in a second. Can you? Guys, I'm just gonna say right now that I think, yeah, maybe the accident was my fault because I was trying to look for, uh, I was trying to look for Gucci Gang on the radio and I couldn't find it, so I, I looked up and I crashed. So, th so this, uh, this has been my confession. But if this guy asks, I was never there, okay? That's cool, dude, yeah. Uh... I think I will take this as an apology question mark? Listen, kid, I might lose my job. Dude, I lost half my bowel. I need to be doubly sure you are admitting to causing the accident. Do you understand? Tch, this is not legally binding. This is just an okay symbol. <laughs> Technically, I could just be doing anything. I could just be trying to get you. Well, that was easy. Listen, kiddo. I really do appreciate your honesty. I appreciate your belt and your cooperation. I'm just going to uh hand in the statement into the police now. Oh wait, no, hold on. Hold on. But a memento. Um, hello? Grab him! Grab! Sir, no! Oh man, I'm gonna go to hospital jail. And they won't give me a bag to pee in then. I'm gonna have to pee in front of everybody else. And I'm I'm insecure about that. I got a wiener in the shape of one of those apples over there. No one's gonna understand. I miss Babs. Oh. Well, look at you. You seem to be stable now. To be honest, I really didn't think you'd make it. But you've pulled through. We'll probably be moving you to the general ward soon. Oh, by soon, you mean. You mean. You mean that. Uh, uh, uh. That kid's is called a running gag. Holy bazongas! I'll be the one who takes who looks takes after looks. I'll be the one who takes after looks around here. Tell me, can you speak yet? Does it fucking look like I can, Samantha? Does it look like I can? Also, why are you going around with the stethoscope? You can hear me with your regular ears. If I speak, you don't need to have this up in the air to be like, hmm, yes, I can hear sound waves better. Fucking... There you go. So, then why don't you just say that, silly? I don't know, why don't you just take these metal bars out of my teeth so my mouth works again? Oh yeah, cause my face will fall off! Who is this lady? It matters what you can do with those big, long fingers. Okay, Samantha, I am married, okay? I have an anime girlfriend that I love very, very much. Okay? She's got tig old biddies. And her name is... Nutsuyume. You don't know her. She, she lives in Canada. She goes to a different school. Oh, yes, honey. I know you like what you see. This is getting... This is, mm. How about I come over later? And we can get to know each other. Yeah, why don't you just come over and I'll prepare dinner. I'll cook a big old steak. And then I'll, I'll go buy you flowers. And then we can sit down and watch TV. Oh wait, no we can't because I'm fucked up in bed. A bit better? Sure, why not? This is this seems to be the way you progress the game. Okay sweetie, you just hang tight and I'll be back. Nurse Stacy! Uh, what are you doing here? What do you mean, doctor? You're supposed to be in room 324B, not 324A. I remember, because that's your bust size. <laughs> that's all right, Nurse Stacy. Nurse Barbara has been assigned as- Oh, no. Oh, Babs is back. Well, to be fair, Babs is better than this lady here, because she's given off a whole lot of vibes that I do not consent to. I'll ask Nurse Barbara to give you a sponge bath. Oh, me and Babs are going to have the best time. Me and- me and Babbers are getting along like a California wildfire. Hello there, brother! It's good to see how quickly you are recovering. Is that Michael Rucker? Pastor Daniel! I'm sure you know why I'm here! 
How does he talk like that normally? Listen here, boy! <laughs> the prophecies have long foretold of a liberator coming down to earth to redeem the souls of the good and destroy the sinners and the damned. You see where I'm going with all of this, of course? Hell yeah. There's nothing else going on in my life. I might as well join a cult. He said I can call up my parents and say, hey, yeah, I've got friends now. Good, good. I can see why Pastor Daniel has such faith in you. Once you have recovered fully, we will need to put your faith to the test. You see, we can't just assume that anyone could be the liberator. Our Lord, Chew Boy, test that you will successfully complete in order to prove yourself worthy of leading. This is getting a little weird. Okay? This is getting very doki doki on me all of a sudden. It will take courage and strength, but it'll be worth it. I get it. Just give me the flaming torch and I'll drink the blood of your Satan God. Whatever, okay? Just get me out of this hospital bed. I'm bored. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure thing, buddy. Yeah, whatever you want. Just agreeing to everything. Maybe I'll come over later. Sure. Do you accept charges? Sure. Do you want to join a cult and praise Satan forever? That ah, sure. <laughs> okay, see you later, Pastor Dave. Lovely man. Makes great Kool-Aid. Tastes a little funny, though, and the people who drink it mysteriously die. Oh, my poor baby, it looks like you're in so much pain. What did you do this time? Uh, do I know you? I came as fast as I could. <laughs> Same. Oh, wait, is this my mom? Oh, that's weird. Um, uh, I'd like... <laughs> Excuse me. Does this elevator get off this joke? Oh, yeah, don't worry, Mom. The bones are only broken in my ankles, feet, knees, calves, shins, legs, arms, back. Spinal fluids are leaking and my neck broken four places, but I'm fine. I'm pretty dope. You sound like a Pokemon who's only able to say mama mama. Does that mean you're okay? Can't you speak? No. That's a negatory, Ma Marino. Can't speak with these mouth flaps of mine. These lips don't work. They won't mind you. In the game, they don't. Can you maybe try something to me that's a bit more substantial? I'm sorry. Am I not giving you enough right now? You know, a big, giant, truck-shaped pin roller ran over me. Kind of turned me into styrofoam. Um... Y yes. Okay, sweetie. I still don't really know what you're trying to say. Yeah, me neither. At this point, I I don't understand this meme and I'm too afraid to ask. I promise that I'll come visit you again as soon as- Take care, my sweetheart. Uh, bye! I love you. I too, mom! I wasn't my real mom. I know my real mom. My real mom would never say she loves me. Me mm -hmm. Hey, Peter! Hey, you're missing some arms as well! Wait, who? Oh, no, it's the 5-0. It's Magnum P.I. Oh, shit! What? What's the matter, Pete? Oh, my God! Look at your freaking face! Guys, come on. No, the truck didn't actually drive over this. The truck drove over my legs. This, this, this is how I always look. I'm feeling real good about myself. I'd say nice to meet you, but your face is making it a bit hard. You're the one who's missing a nose. We're here today to ask you a few questions about the accident that you were involved in. On the night of the 11th of February. Let's make this short and sweet, all right? I got some big bad donuts to catch. Yeah, with your big fat no nose. Uh, I didn't see what you just said. I was too busy making fun of your face. Um, yes? What did he say? Yes. Shemwan Fina? I told you this was a freaking waste of time. We have some reasons to believe that you were being a bit negligent on the road. 
Someone, <laughs> the truck driver, <laughs> Jeff, uh, shithead, approached us and tried to lay down some criminal charges. Hey, Jeff! The guy wants to put you in the slammer and I'm very open to it. Oh, Jeff. No, no, no. Un momento. Uh, por favor. No. Good old Jeffy boy said that he didn't want to do anything to me. He just wanted me to admit it and then he was going to go file the police report. And I said, Jeff, Jeff, my buddy Jeff, guy that I actually almost killed in the accident. I'm not going down for this, Jeff. Okay? I don't like prison. I, I can't go to the slammer. I'm in, I'm in body prison right now. I'm in cast prison. I know who I'm talking There's nobody there. I don't know who I'm talking to. Do you believe that this accident was Jeff's fault? Oh, God. I could really do it here, couldn't I? Do I admit fault of my own? Potentially go to jail? And just have my entire life ruined? What would mom say? What would- what would happen to the cult? They need their liberator! No, I can't go down for this. Do you believe that uh, the accident was Jeff's fault? Yeah. Yeah, I do. That's what he gets for driving a big rig through a residential zone, you know? He was taking up the whole road! Of course you'd say that. You happy now, Pete? Tony, you know I'm never happy since my wife left. All because you wanted to do the job right. Ugh, such a waste of time. Tony, shut up! Jeff will probably want to take this to court. Since you have not admitted to causing the accident, you'll need to find yourself a lawyer to defend you in court. Well, Oh, no, you don't. I have the perfect lawyer for you, kid. You get the job done nice and quick. Unlike Peter. Dude, I'm right here. Trust me, kid. There is no better lawyer out there. We'll see you at the course, ca co course case set. Maybe I need a fucking doctor. Okay, toodles. Bye, fellas. Thank you. It was nice to see you. Don't press charges. I love poli- Hey! Babs is back! Babs! Ugh, giving these sick bastards a sponge bath is literally the last thing I feel like doing. Babs, I'm dirty, and I've got bed sores. Can you come in and fix this? Babarino? Babbles? Uh, Babel? Babylonian? I'm dirty. You're still too much of a baby to get out of here. You weakling. But Babs, I'm all dirty. I'm a dirty boy. I need to be sponge bathed. Sponge bathed? I need to be sponged. Babs. Especially around my legs area. Very dirty. You weakling? That's me. Yes, dominate me, Babs. Yeah, that's what I thought. You are so pathetic. Babs, is there... Is there a bit of a spark between us? Are you guys seeing this? You guys see it too, right? Oh, there's a spark. I'm not going to give you a sponge bath. You have to get- You've got to be out of your mind. I'd rather clean a thousand catheters than clean your disgusting face. Yes. Yes, Babs, tell me I'm trash. Lay down the law. Walk all over me. Oh, good! I'm glad we're on the same page. The page of love. A weakling with no backbone. Yeah, because the, the truck... You know those yogurts? The squeezable yogurts? Yeah, imagine the yogurt was my spinal fluid and the truck was your finger just going... I'm saying I don't have a back anymore. You can still go to hell. Okay, bye, Babs. She wants me. There's a spark there. She's af She's afraid to admit it. Oh, you're not the lawyer, are you? I've been sent here by the police department. To represent you in the court case against Jeffrey Harrison. Uh, we like to call him Jeff around here. The officers have told me that you have caused some unnecessary chaos on the roads which brought you here. Well, no matter. Even if you are guilty, which it seems that you are, we have something in common. Neither of us have a spine or a neck anymore. Shall we go through what you did wrong? On the night of February 11th? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm innocent. I was just driving there and he ran over me. That's all there is, okay? I'm a weak little boy. No. 
I'm not going back. I can't go back into the slammer. I'd rather suck a thousand dicks than go back there, because if I go back there, I'll probably have to suck a thousand dicks anyway. That analogy doesn't make any sense, but I'm just hoping to confuse you to the point- Okay, I should be reading this. And maybe you'll get away with this. The other good news for you is that you they probably do not have any physical proof that you were being negligent whilst driving. I was just looking for sweet jams. Oh, don't look at me like that. We all know you were too busy looking down at your radio. How do you know? Okay, and I can't help but look at you like this. This is how my face is. I told you, this is just my face. Why does everyone keep thinking there's something wrong with my face? It's fine. Um... A simple no would suffice. I don't half-ass anything, Mr. Lawyer. Why half-ass lots of things if it can whole-ass everything? <laughs> I suggest that you change your attitude swiftly. Otherwise, you'll have to represent yourself in the court. Now, let us begin with some courtroom etiquette. Since you can't even be polite, well, you can't even dress yourself, so... Sorry, I, I need to work on it. How do you uh, do the judge if she asks you a question? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Haha! <laughs> I'm just gonna give her one of these. I'm gonna slam down an old, like, heavy metal on her, and she'll be like, dude, that's rad. Oh, can I do that? <laughs> so I just go up to the, to the judge and go, Yo, judge? Saw it, eh? And she'd be like, oh, Eddie, charges dropped. That's how you do it. In the state of California, that's how you get out of a fender bender. And that's the tea for the day, folks. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going back into the alternate. <laughs> oh, I actually survived that one. That was pretty good. Wait, what's happening? Oh, hell yeah! Dude, I got some sweet tattoos! Am I still in- Am I still broken? Did I go to jail? <laughs> I'm in the prison hospital ward? This is awesome! They call me old Gull and Snake now. You'll end up in solitude if you carry on that way. Ah, uh, yes. We have a new member of the family, boys! And what's your name, son? I told you, Skull and Snake. Call me that. That's my code name. It's awesome. Cat got your tongue? No, I lost it when a truck drove over me. Oh, shoot. I forgot. You're the one who took on a truck. I did. <laughs> Let me guess. The truck won. Well, never mind that. No, the truck did not win. I won. That's what I did. The truck died. Just remember. Always be on your best behavior. Otherwise, I promise you, bins. We no, fuck. Try to stay away from those silly gangs. I'm already in a gang. It's called the uh, the Chill Pack. Now, I'll be over there by my podium. The only time you ever call me is when there's an emergency. Got it? Ooh, I do got it, but I really want to sass you because I'm a sassy little boy. I'm a sassy little bean boy. <sighs> Thanks, guard! <laughs> you that eat, boy! <laughs> Listen, son, you have every right to be whoever you feel you need to be. I knew I knew I knew I Calm down, indoor voice. I encourage you to bathe. <laughs> Bathing's for kids. Anyway, before I forget, the hospital has told me that they have sent over a particular nurse. Oh, Babs is back! Yes! Babs! 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 Can we get some Babs in chat, please? I love Babs. Babs is the best part of this game. I'm only holding on in this game for Babs. See you later. Is that Babs? Is that- is that Babs? Oh, Babs! Not only do I have to deal with your ugly face, but the rest of these dirty crooks, too. You love it, Babs! Look, there's a bee over your head for Babylonian! On the plus side, that prison guard is quite cute, don't you think? 
Babs, don't toy at me like that. You know how I get jealous, okay? You know the drill. Don't bother me. Don't call for me. We'll get on just fine. Oh, you know how I like it. The silent treatment. Mm. Little twerp, yeah. Call me garbage, Babs. Oh, Babs, you were just getting into it! What am I gonna do with this boner now? Babs! Oh, God, it's a Simpson. Hey, you must be the new guy in town. You got any hand cream on you? Why? Oh, you look so scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. Unless you don't have any hand cream. Excuse me, I think this man might be the human embodiment of jaundice. Can somebody get him out of my face? What the fuck is this voice? You should have seen your face again, okay? My face just looks like this. Can you speak Spanish? No, I mean you're speaking perfect English, so why would I have to speak Spanish? Um, no. Uh, this one. You don't? Ah, what a disappointment. Almost as disappointing as your face, and the fact that you don't have any hand cream. Don't feel bad about it, gringo. Like my mama always used to say, don't judge a book by its cover. Unless that you look the color of your own suit that you're wearing. Because that's just gross, amigo. <laughs> anyway, I know that you were new here, and people will probably take advantage of that. So, always watch your back. Now you're just making fun. I told you, I don't have a back anymore. We will look out for you. If you look out for us. What do you say? <gasps> Are you one of the gangs I heard about? Oh, my mother said when I moved that I would always make new friends. She was right. Dude, can we sell drugs together? This is great news. Before you join our group, there are a few things that you should know. Firstly, my name is Eduardo. Eduardo. I have been in prison for- okay. I was caught embezzling money from Coffee Capital because I, uh, needed to feed my family. You know, the placement of that leg on between your legs is very unfortunate. Or very flattering in whatever way you want to say it. Oh, it's fake tan! Wait, is that what you said? I'm not even paying attention. My family has good reputations with the guards. They respect us and keep their distance. And we do the same for them. If you are keen to join our family, you need to respect the guards. Oh, boo! Also, we have a family sign. Whenever someone is bothering. Is it this? This is my family sign. I took this to mean I love you when I was a kid. Oh. Okay, is that this? Okay, so you put that one down, you put that one down, and that one down. Eso! That's the one! Cool! Am I- wait, am I doing a gang symbol? Uh, no demonetize, please! True boy, if you're up there, I love you! I'll see you around, amigo! Okay, Eduardo! Stay safe! And remember, live long and... Hola! Bye! I love you! Oh, he's gone. Okay. Life in prison has actually been better than the hospital so far. Oh, there's a naked dude. Can I get off Mr. Bones Wild Ride now? I can't stop staring at his nipples. There's something about- they're intoxicating. It almost looks like a face. Who am I talking to? Hello- hi! Oh, you're there. Hi. How's it going? Yeah, look at his nipples. Aren't they weird? Mind if I get a bit closer to you? Back off there, buddy. I don't want you or your black hole nipples anywhere near me. There's nothing like two friends getting to know each other better. Okay, I'm spoken for. I have a love for a fine lady named Babs. I bet those sponge baths they give you must be really good. Only if they're from my one true love. Anyway, what are you in for? I'm in for some fun. <laughs> Did you kill someone? Yes? Technically, I killed the old version of myself that was in hospital. I was a patient, and now I'm a warrior. 
It's also poetic because I told Chew Boy guy, CB, to um, give me the flaming torch so that I could carry the burden of the cult forward. And I have a flaming torch in my arm. Did you kill someone? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, you know how it is, dude. You're just out in the street and you see a guy and you're like, Oh, dude, I feel like killing that dude. And then you do it and then you're in prison. Shit's tight, dude. So how'd you do it? You got him with a knife? Did you slit their throat? Did you blow their brains out? I did, but in a different way. Does that still count? Oh, so you don't like to kiss and tell, eh? Oh, so you're Canadian, eh? Well, a liar and a killer is somebody that I can respect. Since you're new, you may want to consider joining a gang. Wait, I thought that was a knife on your arm. It's a feather. You're lame, dude. Get out of my face. Hmm, he wants me to join a gang. My mother always told me not to. But then she also said go play in traffic. And now I'm here because of that. So maybe she was telling me the future? Hmm. It is in a video game after all. So it might be okay. Um, yeah. Why not? I got nothing else going on. A cult is like a book club, right? We just get together and share our feelings every week. And now you're going to fit right in with murderers, thieves, and liars. Are they also part of the game? You should know that we use this sign. Is that the sign? I, I'm confused. Okay. So we just do... No. We do this. My hand doesn't work that way. It's like a weird reverse Spider-Man. I'm sure you're gonna get along with the rest of us just fine. Yeah, because I killed a guy! Killed him dead! It was in Fortnite, but I killed him! And their pants soaked with pee. Okay, I for I missed out on a part of that sentence. I swear Teddy once made the guards cry with that sign. Wow, that's... Anyway, Softskin, I'll see you around. Ugh, don't call me Softskin, that's weird and gross. You take care now. Okay, take care now. Bye-bye then. Bye. Bye. Lock the door. L lock it. Lock it real good. Oh, Babs is back. She thought her negligence would kill me. I can't die when the love for you burns in my soul. Could you just stop being so selfish and die already? Babs? Okay, I know we've had our problems. Okay, you come in, tell me I'm a piece of shit. I react very strongly to it, and then you leave. We have something here. We're a strong couple, okay? When I get out of the hospital prison and remove these water tattoos, uh, uh, real tattoos made from the ink and blood of my enemies. When I, when I wash them off, we're going to be the best. We can go to Hawaii. Spend a week there. Hawaii's in Africa, right? Babs, I don't know. I'm not a man of the world, but together we can understand this. Um, okay. For you, Babs, I'll die, okay? I'll die. But when I fake the death, then you come and we leave. A very ugly, unstable, brittle wall that a lot of people have kicked. And a car or two have driven into it. Ow! Ow! It's too real. The roast video is done, Babs. You don't need... Okay, you win! You win, you're fine. <laughs> The prison guard hasn't come to talk to you, has he? He has. Oh, he did? What did he talk to you about? Did he say anything about me? No, we're the couple, okay? Screw that guy! He doesn't even walk properly, he walks in like this. And then when he's finished talking to you, he walks backwards. He's a terrible Michael Jackson impersonator. Did he say anything about me? Nah. No. I have. No. I've said a lot about you to the people. No. Of course you didn't. Why would anyone notice no. an old bag like me? You're beautiful. Like a bag of Canadian milk. 
But at least I still have you, asshole. You might literally be Satan, but at least you are someone. <laughs> That's the best thing anyone has ever said to me, Vams. You know what? You might be a big old steaming pile of raccoon shit, but you're my steaming bag. Goodbye, twerp. She's like she's loosening up to me. Good luck trying to stay alive. Good luck to you too. May the odds forever be in your favor. She loves me. You can tell. Wait, we're we're busting out of prison? Uh oh, pepperoni's back. You're not gonna stab him, are you? Well, what happened? Why is l the Latino leader here? Okay, porque esta? Oh, I didn't see all that. Hey, man, back off. Guys, we can work this out, okay? The important part is that Babs likes me now. What world would he choose your gang? That would be like choosing suicide. He chose our gang. Just talk amongst yourselves. I'm not going anywhere, no. I I'm just going over, I'm going over here. I have a thing going on. You, you guys talk. Wait, wait, no, baby. Baby, come back. Fuck you, soft skin. Isn't that kind of what you were implying before? I'm getting very mixed messages here. Don't leave. I don't like prison. I don't do well here. Uh, guy, no! Let the emotional box. I heard that he got into some kind of gang problem in jail. Really, that's terrible. Yeah, apparently he couldn't make up his mind about which gang to be loyal to. Oh dear. Yeah. Sounds like they all ganged up on him in the end. I died. Okay. Well, that was helping hand. And the lesson to take away from this is that no matter what happens to you in life, people are still going to be shitheads and expect everything to happen out of one hand gesture. And as we all saw, no hand gesture is ever the right hand gesture, except this one. Because this one is looking for a high five. And that's a team effort. High fives are the greatest team building exercise imaginable. Up top. Up top, everyone. Yes. Yep. Everybody out there. Yes. High fives. High fives for all. But for what that was, I actually enjoyed it. I know I was ignoring a lot of the sentences that were in the game. Um, but I had fun just making up my own little story and riffing on different things because it, get, it gets very, very repetitive. It's cool that they managed to make an entire game around that mechanic and that it's more than just sitting in the hospital now, and thank you to the developer for sending me the code to be able to play the game. They saw that I played the demo of it and sent me a code for the full game, so thanks for that. I just think that the mechanic on its own gets a bit too repetitive, um, and the game, like, there's so much stuff to it. I, I got as far as this. There's all of this stuff left to go. Um... So, I don't know if I'm gonna go any further or just leave it here, I have no idea. You guys can let me know. But for what this was and for what this video was, I had a blast recording this. So I hope you guys had a blast watching it. But anyway, THANK YOU GUYS SO MUCH FOR WATCHING THIS VIDEO. IF YOU LIKED IT, PUNCH THE LIKE BUTTON IN THE FACE, LIKE A BUS, AND HIGH FIVES ALL ROUND. Whoosh. Whoosh. That was stupid. But THANK YOU GUYS, I WILL SEE ALL YOU DUDES. Oh, it would appear that my voice has left me just like my spine left me in the game. <laughs>